Hey everyone, welcome to Pawfology. So it's Friday and it's about 2.30. I'm just taking a quick break from work. Um, I'm, a, I'm not really doing anything today. I'm mainly just going to clean the apartment. I might go to Walmart later tonight, but besides that, I'm not doing anything. I might go to Walmart tomorrow actually, while Emily's uh, working on some stuff in the morning. So, but that's what I'm doing right now, which is just on a break. And later today, I'm going to clean. Yesterday, um, we, so I went to Whole Foods and I got some stuff to make some sort of stir fry shrimp thing, but we did not do that. So that's what we're having tonight. Last night we had Papa John's, the Papa John's stuffed crust pizza. We normally never get stuffed crust pizza. It's just it just is, sounds iconic, you know, it's, it's something fun. So normally Pizza Hut has a stuffed crust, but Papa John's had one and I liked it. I thought it was really good. It definitely had more cheese than Pizza Hut, which is probably what they're trying to do. So, but normally we just go to King Doe. Anyways, Papa John's was great. Maybe I'll show you a clip. I don't know if I have it. I hope I do. I did my best to record it, but I was working on my other video when I was doing it. All that to say, all that to say, here's a clip of last night, us getting the Papa John's pizza. Hey everyone, so Emily and I, it's Thursday. Emily and I had a change of plans for what we're having for dinner. Emily wanted pizza, so I took this as an opportunity to get the Papa John's stuffed crust pizza. So here's the box. It's so nice. It has a, a very 70s vibe to it. So it says, just when you thought our pizza couldn't get any better, this isn't just stuffed crust. This is Papa John's crust stuffed. That's weird. <laughs> That's a weird saying. And then there's a little LinkedIn code to scan with your phone, which I don't know who would do that. So here it is. We got half cheese, half pepperoni. This is some thick crust. Let me see if I can show you. Whoop. Is it cut? Ooh, can you see that? So there you go. Oh, it's like a log of cheese. Oh, I don't, I'm not doing a good job at showing this. Either way, maybe I'll, maybe I'll cut that. I don't know. Oh, can you see it? There, yeah. Oh wow, it is a lot of cheese in there. Wow. It's like a mozzarella stick. Well, that's what we're having for dinner tonight. Tomorrow we'll have shrimp and uh, cabbage stir fry. As I don't know if it's cat. It's a you know the stir fry I showed yesterday. So it's gonna be great. But I'm, we're also excited for this cheese pizza. That's cool. Yum. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye. Hey everyone. So I'm back. I made a quick thing about a couple hours ago while I was at work, but there, there's Emily though. And now I'm about to make dinner. So I'm going to make us some stir fry and shrimp, and then I'm just gonna chill. So that's what I'm looking forward to, just relaxing. I'm probably gonna watch a movie. No, I probably won't watch a movie. I might, I, I might have said this before multiple times, but I might start Sabrina. I haven't started it yet, but I really want to. And, or I might uh, finish up a interview. This is so random. I don't even know why I was watching this. It's an interview with the kid that was the Terminator 2, uh, or Terminator 1, or was it 2? I don't know. Anyways, it was the kid in Terminator 2 who was in a bunch of movies in the early 90s and they were interviewing him and he was just talking about overcoming addiction and uh, just the movies he's been in. So it's interesting. I It's like an updated version. I think it came out in the end of December. Maybe it was January. I don't know. So it's recent. That's what I'm watching. Just him talking about his story. I mean, child actors, very interesting to me you know they go through so much they have so much opportunity and then you know what do you do once that time of your life is over so kind of like the kid from home alone home alone one home alone two so so that's what i'm doing and uh that's about all tomorrow 
I'm gonna go to Walmart. I might go to Meyer. I'll probably go to Meyer. I like Meyer better than Walmart. And um, Emily's showing me this honey almond milk cold brew. Is that what you want? You want to try it? Maybe we, maybe we will try the honey almond milk cold brew sometime this weekend. We have Monday off as well, so maybe we'll try it then if we don't try it on Sunday. Because Emily has stuff to do tomorrow morning. Oh, do you have that picture of me or did you send it? What picture? The one where I'm smiling and waving. Kid. Yeah, as a kid. Here's something interesting. So my dad texted uh, Emily some pictures of me as a little kid. Um, so it's cute. I'll just show this one. Here's me waving as a kid. And aren't I so cute? <laughs> uh, in the picture, there's also this dog. I'm pretty sure that's my dog named Dulce, or uh, later, oh, later uh, I pointed out, or Emily pointed out, she was asking me what's the dog's name, and I started looking it up. My sister well, uh, studied French for a while, and I think she named it Dolce, but uh, meaning kind, which that dog was not kind. It was a very evil dog, but we bought it from Canada for a lot of money. I don't know why we did that. Anyways, um, I think my sister just really wanted it. Okay, all that to say, she named it Dolce or Dolce, Dolce. Okay, anyways, I think though my dad and mom just started calling it Dolce just because they didn't want to, I don't know why. They just, I guess they just thought that it was easier than pronouncing it like you would in French. But I so thought it was Dolce. Maybe it is. It, I guess it's spelled just like Dolce and Cambana, you know, like from the high fashion. I would have to ask my sister. I could, I, I don't know why we called it Dolce, but you know, part of me wonders if Dolce is love in French. I don't know. Anyways, that dog was evil. I remember uh, one time we had people over when I was a kid and this, it, it was an aggressive dog. Nothing happened to it as a, as a dog or as a puppy or anything. We got it as a puppy. But I guess we didn't have it for maybe its first few months. Anyways, it was just a naturally aggressive, protective dog. And one time we had this these kids over and this girl started running. We had a big yard. And she just started running as fast as she, sh she could. And the dog bit her. I'm like, oh no. So we had to put her down because she was very aggressive. But we had another dog that uh, at the same time named Eli and he was very sweet, very sweet dog. Now my parents have a dog named Jada and she's wild. I've told a few stories about Jada. She is crazy. I love Jada though, I do. She's a, a black lab, full bred, and is that how you say it, full bred black lab? Anyways, awesome dog. I really like black labs. I like labs in general, I but I like black labs because that's what I grew up with. And I remember, uh, there being, are there gray labs? I think there are. My memory of one that I met a few times was it was really crazy and just had weird eyes and it was just dumb or something. I don't know. It, it was just a weird dog. So I like, I like my black labs. I don't know if I really like, I mean, I like golden retriever videos, but I don't think I would want to own one. I like pugs. I think they're really cute. I really like pugs. I like, Anyways, so I like dogs. Eventually we'll get a dog, but while we live downtown, you know, I don't want to be taking the dog out and going downstairs, like, you know what I'm, you know what I mean? In the city, taking your dog out every few hours, every three or four hours. I'm just not interested in that. But some people do have um, pads, like grass pads or something for the dog, but I'm not going to do that. That's weird. Maybe it's not though. I don't know. I don't know. So that that was my my story of growing up with my with dogs. I had a my first dog we had was Brandy. Didn't like her either. She was very mean as well. So um but Eli, 
my favorite dog, one of my favorite dogs, my, my real favorite dog right now, or I would say altogether was Jada. She was just a sweet dog, very nice, even though she's aggressive and licks everything. Well, she's not aggressive as my other dog, but she's just jumps on you and runs around and has zoomies 24 seven wild dog. So, but I'm glad she has a lot of land to run around in. I grew up uh, with a lot of land and uh, all the dogs could run anywhere. You know, there was woods everywhere. We had acres of land. So I really, I would also feel guilty having a dog in this downtown city area. I just, I would feel bad for it because I grew up watching the dog, my dogs run around, do whatever they want to do and then come back. So yeah, man, I love dogs. Maybe we should get a dog soon. No, I'm not getting one soon. Okay. Yeah. Maybe someday, once we once we uh, move not downtown. So, but we like living downtown for now. We want to live downtown while we're young and can experience it and just enjoy it. And yeah, so, well, I hope you're having a good day. If you're still watching this, comment down below. Um, I have, I'm going to say Reese's. Reese's cup or Reese's, or you could call, if you don't like Reese's comment, some comment, something else. I don't know something chocolate and peanut butter. Yeah. Comment chocolate and peanut butter. Okay. Comment Reese's. If you're still watching this down below, I will see you tomorrow. I'm going to go around downtown tomorrow. Probably no, you know, on Sunday we will, I think we'll try to see a few bakeries or a few. We'll check out some coffee shops we haven't been to and that's what we're doing. So I hope you have a great night. I hope you have a great day. I'm going to go make some dinner. I mean, I think it's going to be amazing. It's going to be specifically, I've told you this already, but it's ginger, ginger, garlic, shrimp with stir fry. And the stir fry is what I bought yesterday. So it's Brussels sprouts, broccoli. I don't know, some other stuff. It's, uh, it, you know, last time I had that stuff, it was really good. I think I had the teriyaki version of it but I don't know what's up with me. I cannot have teriyaki. It gives me mouth ulcers. I know it's crazy. Even the Trader Joe's one, even the Panda Express one. I don't know. I'm just same with spearmint. I can't have spearmint all. And I, I don't, I don't understand because I don't think chemically probably it's not that different than peppermint. I feel like it's just sweeter but there's something in spearmint that also gives me mouth ulcers. There's something in teriyaki that gives me mouth ulcers. I don't know. I don't get it. So, and I'm the only person that I know that's a, not alert. I'm allergic to spearmint in the, in the fact that it gives me mouth ulcers. So does that count as allergic? I don't know, but that's what it does. It doesn't matter what it is. Even wintergreen stuff, you know, like those little wintergreen mints or the wintergreen, whatever gum can't have it. It's a bummer too. Cause I really like that gum. So, okay, everyone, I hope you have a great day. Hope you have a great weekend, a great Friday, Saturday, Sunday, whenever you watch this during the week. Um, I really do appreciate you who are watching and commenting. Thank you so much. I really do. We both really do appreciate it. So thank you. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. If no one's told you this, you are loved and this world is a better place because you are here. Bye.